Hey, thanks for tuning into this video. Uh, this is my first video of 2021. I can't believe we got through 2020. Crazy. Well, here we are. Uh, I bought a brand new mountain bike. I'm in, I wouldn't say a new studio, but I'm in my new house, in my garage. I put like LEDs up, so it's pretty bright. So hopefully this video turns out. Uh, I did buy a brand new mountain bike. I bought a 29er. First time I've ever bought a 29er. I haven't, didn't even have a 27.5. I've been riding a 26 because I'm old as shit. Anyway, I digress. So I bought a Marin Riftzone 2. This thing is phenomenal. I really, really like it. I did a lot of research before I bought. I was looking at a, like a Norco Fluid 2, but no one has anything in stock. There are no bikes anywhere, but Marin wasn't my second choice. It's more my first choice. I'm just, I was looking everywhere for different bikes and no one had any. And luckily, I found a Marin. Okay, so again, uh, with this bike, the setup is it's, it's a trail bike, but it's a, a short travel trail bike. Now for this guy, because I've been mountain biking for like 20 years, this doesn't seem like short to me. This is like five inches of travel, which is like a free ride bike, which is now like an enduro. But enduro is like six to eight inches of travel, which is like a downhill bike. So I don't know, I'm very confused. But I'm learning. The Marin is going to be, uh, in, it's just Canadian funds because we're in Canada. It's supposed to be a Canadian pricing. Uh, it was $26.99. So, here's the bike. It's going to be a Series 3 6061 aluminum frame, 29 inch wheels, of course, 29 inch wheels, uh, 125 millimeters of travel in the rear end, and that rock shocks. So, I bought the, uh, the extra large frame because I'm about 6'2 and I'm fat. I'm about 240 pounds. So, I needed something that could uh, hold my weight and support my frame. Uh, you're looking at the uh, 148 by 12 boost spacing, and that's going to be the boost spacing 2 and a 73 millimeter threaded uh, bottom bracket. Um, the front suspension is pretty nice. Again, it's just an air sprung shock, nothing too crazy high end, because this is more of like a, um, a, mid, a mid to high range mountain bike, trail bike, free ride bike, <laughs> whatever it is, it's gonna be pretty awesome. So on the front, you're gonna have uh, the Rock Shock Recon Silver RL uh, 29. It's going to be 130 millimeters of travel, solo air, compression rebound adjustment, alloy tapered steering, fast black uppers, 110 by 15 millimeter boost spacing on the, on the front uh, hub there, and it's a Maxwell Stealth 42 millimeter offset. And now just to talk a little bit more about that rear suspension, that uh, that Rock Shock in the rear. That is, like I said, a Rock Shock Deluxe Select R. It has the debonair sleeve rebound adjustment. Custom tuned to this, this frame, 210 by 50 millimeter, M8 by 22.2 millimeter hardware. So the Marin uh, rims are going to be double walled alloy, 29 millimeter inner, pinned joint, disc specific, 32H, tubeless compatible. I love the fact that these uh, rims are tubeless. You don't have to spend more money on getting uh, and getting new uh, getting new rims. Uh, the rear hub is Shimano. It's going to be an HB MT410B. Uh, it's going to be 148 by 12 millimeters. It's a center lock. It's a micro spline free hub body. So that's, that's pretty good. I mean, only Shimano, I think, is making those in some higher end uh, companies. So um, not too bad. Not too bad to get that with this bike. The front hub is also Shimano. It's going to be an HF MT410B. That's going to be 110 by 50 millimeter center lock. Uh, the tires, these are going to be the V tire flow snap, 29 by 2.35. I've heard some good things about these tires, but I hear they're, they're really uh, sticky. So, you know, kind of going uphill and stuff, it might make it a bit tricky. It might hold you back a little bit, but going downhill, it should be a dream. Let's hope. Um, at any rate, the rear derailleur is going to be a Shimano Dior 12 speed. Um, let's see here. The shifter lever is Shimano as well. 12 speed SL7100R. Crank set on this Mariner Zone 2 is an FSA Comet modular. Uh, it's going to have direct mounting, Chang Mega 2 technology, boost spacing. It's a lot. It's a lot. It looks good. Uh, FSA has been around for a long time, so I'm sure this crank set will be great until I upgrade with race face. All right, bottom bracket, external steel cartridge bearing. That's great. That's, you know, that, that again, me coming from like a uh, a thousand years ago, that bottom bracket was super expensive to get that on any bike back in the day. And now it's pretty much standard on all like mid to high end bikes. Chain KMC, very, very normal on that as well. Cassette, Shimano, 
full speed, huge. It looks like the size of like a dinner plate or a Frisbee. It's huge. Again, I have to get used to this new bike. Uh, front brakes, Shimano BRMT201 hydraulic, uh, 180 millimeter rotor in the front. And in the back, same thing. It's going to be uh, 80, milli uh, 80 millimeter rotor in the back with the exact same uh, BRMT 201s. Now, these are just two piston. I mean, I'm not doing what I used to do, so I'm hoping two piston will be okay. But again, I'm like 240 pounds, so stopping me, I might need to step it up and get myself into some like some four piston uh, Shimano in the future, or maybe some glides, some like uh, some really nice SRAM stuff. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So much money I have. Uh, the brake lever, of course, is going to be a Shimano BRMT 201. Handlebars, handlebars again are in-house by Marin, which uh, which again is nice. I mean, they make good stuff, and I mean, again, you can always upgrade because mountain biking is nothing than upgrading. Uh, so it's a Marin mid, Mini Mini Rise 6061 double butted aluminum, 780 millimeter width with a 28 millimeter rise. So that's, that's not too bad, it's nice and long. And again, a, a bigger guy like myself, I do like having longer handlebars. I know it makes the uh, the shoulders prone to get hit off trees and stuff and branches, but I like being spread out on the bike. It makes it very comfortable for long rides. Uh, the grips, well, the grips on my bike I did change to race face. Um, it didn't come with pedals, these bikes don't come with pedals. So when I was upgrading my pedals, I thought, hey, I'm going to just upgrade my, my handle grips because they had some really cool one-up pedals, so I'm like, I really want these one-up pedals in the composite. So I bought those for the bike. But I didn't want to just buy black. They didn't have silver. So I'm like, I want to do something just to kind of give it, I don't know, a little bit more flair, a little more bang for the buck. So I bought orange. <laughs> so I bought orange uh, race face uh, handle grips, like handlebar grips too, just to um, accent it, I guess. Or if I go hunting, I won't get shot. Uh, headset is FSA again, FSA uh, uh, 57E, semi-sealed cartridge bearings, seat post is, you know, Trans-X staple in, in, the, in the mountain bike industry for seat posts and whatnot, so the Trans-X um, is a 125 millimeter travel in a size medium uh, and 150 in a large, and then my bike, like I said, is an extra large frame, so in my bike, it's 175 millimeters, which that's freaking awesome. Especially like I'm like 6'2". So that's that's pretty awesome. I can just kick that right up when I'm going up climbs and then put it right down when I'm going to go down a shoot or do a jump off or whatever. That's, that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, the saddle, the saddle's Marin and it actually looks pretty good. I, I, I did a video on some pictures of the bike, so maybe you can have a look back on it. It's kind of cool the way they did it. I like how they have like a, a tread design running across it. Eh, I mean, I might replace it down in the future, but for now, it looks decent, so I haven't really ridden the bike yet. That'll be in the next video. But uh, this video is just more of like an unboxing video, but I didn't really unbox it. I just bought it and brought it home, but it's kind of an unboxing video, I guess. Uh, let's see, it's got the bolt-on through axles, which again is pretty standard in this, this price range. Um, you know, and I've never had that before, so I've only had quick-release hubs. So this should be a lot more stable, I was told, a lot, uh, a lot stronger, especially for a bigger guy like myself. It might actually end up just feeling a bit more rigid out there on the trail, especially on uphill climbs. Uh, the geometry, this is where it gets awesome. This is the progressive awesome stuff. So let's, let's dive into this here. So the main thing that I was caring about was this 65.5 uh, head tube angle. This is, um, this is pretty stacked because this is the progressive geometry that I was researching and looking into. Um, coming from more of like a free ride background and just doing a lot of um, aggressive and crazy like downhill type trails in my past, I, I love the progressiveness, the fact that this is going to eat up hits. I really like that. Um, so I did definitely want to go with something like that. Let's see here. Um, the reach on this on an extra large is not bad. We're looking at about uh, 505. Uh, that's, that's not bad at all. It's nice and, and long for a guy like me. So again, this is... If you're a short guy, this video might not be for you. You might want to look at this bike because it looks awesome and see the components that come with it. But as far as sizing goes, you got to be at least 6'1", I think, and above to, to, for this bike to work for you. So all the tall guys unite and watch this video. If you're short, I'm sorry, I have to find a different video. Uh, at any rate, so, okay, uh, let's see, where am I? 
Head 2 bangle was awesome. Seat 2 bangle. Seat 2 bangle is 76 degrees, which is pretty awesome. It's going to be almost right over top of that bottom bracket, which is going to be really nice for, for going uphill. You know, going up a uphill climb should be centered right over that bike, which again, uh, I was really looking forward to that kind of geometry. Bottom bracket height, uh, 344 throughout all sizes. Um, the chainstay again, uh, nice and short. It's a short chainstay, which again, I was looking into because with that short chainstay, it again, makes it, it lends itself a little bit easier. It makes it more nimble, I guess, like throwing it around in the trails a bit. I'm used to 26 friggin' inch wheels, so going to 29ers, it already feels like I'm on a Harley. So this might actually help uh, just throw the bike around a bit more in those in those tight tor uh, turns and stuff. Uh, and that's going to be 425. So that, that's pretty short, pretty short to what I'm used to. But it, hey, I, I got a good feeling about this bike. Got a good feeling. Uh, let's see, uh, handlebar width, I think I've already talked about, but if I didn't, it's 780 throughout all models. So again, uh, I may I may step it up to race face. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Stem length uh, is 35 across the board as well. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. The, cr the crank length, um, only the, the only the, the small looks like it's gonna be, the small will be 170, but the medium large and extra large is all 175. I've never really upgraded like my cranks to longer ones than 175, but hey man, if anyone wants to leave a, a note or a, or a reply or a comment, yes, comment. If you want to leave a comment in this video and let me know about uh, crank length, maybe a guy like me who's 6'2", maybe I need longer cranks. No, so I don't think so, but let me know. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say about this video. The rest will come when I actually ride it and see what I think of it, see if I love it. I hope I do. I just spend a lot of money. But uh, it looks awesome. It looks fantastic. Uh, the components on it are pretty darn good for a mid-level bike. Uh, it's exactly what I'm looking for. And I live in Ontario, Canada now. I don't live out in BC, Whistler anymore. I live here in Ontario, Canada. So the trails are they're nice. They're moderate. They're not crazy, crazy high. There's not like huge like drop-offs. But it's, there's some pretty good trails out here. Some really good like Black Diamond style trails that are set up all over Ontario, up in Blue Mountain and even down like, even like Turkey Point down by uh, Lake Erie has some good trails. So I'm looking forward to taking this thing all across Ontario and seeing how it holds up. That's it for my video for now. Thanks so much. Subscribe if you'd like to. I don't really have a lot of subscribers. So if you personally make a subscription, that would make my day. Cause then it just shows me, yeah, I got one or two more subscriptions. That's pretty awesome. And I'll follow you back. <laughs> Anyways, if you have any uh, anything you want to know about this bike or any of the other videos that I've made, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment and uh, please subscribe. Thanks very much and uh, have a great day.